Hey guys, it's Archie Luxury. Archie Luxury from the Archie Luxury channel, the Paul Pluter channel, and Archie Luxury corporate. Guys, keep watching, keep watching. I need the viewers. I need the viewers, I need the subs, I need it. Like, subscribe, and tell your friends. Tell your friends, whether you like them or hate them. Just tell them anyhow. Archie Luxury on YouTube. Hi guys, Paul Pluter on the Paul Pluter channel. Today I'm doing paid review 20AU27. And this here is for Alex. Alex, Alex, Alex. Uh, okay, let's jump straight into this paid review. This paid review. Okie dokie. Okie dokie, guys. Let's get this paid. Where did I put my phone? You notice that when you start a vid and you trying to find something and you, you, you can't... Oh, here it, here it is. Okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, this is a paid review. 20AU27. This is for Alex. And uh, this is an interesting, interesting collection. Uh, let's see if I can get the... Um, I just the font is so small here because what he's done is he sent me massive files and uh, the problem is the font is um, just awful okay here we go hi Archie my name is Alex I'm a surgeon from Spain and have sent you 75 euro <clears throat> through PayPal for a collection review and advice thank you sir I will go direct to the point since you have a lot of paid reviews and work to do I just want to tell you that it's thanks to you and Eric Rivera, the other watch YouTuber I love, I was that I came into watches. It's a pity you cannot swear more anymore on YouTube since I used to crack up with your vids. Hey man, I feel the same freaking way. Same freaking way. Nevertheless, I'm a true fan and will follow your channel no matter what. <clears throat> so here is my channel. Here is my collection. <coughs> composed of six watches, all of them bought at the retailer, uh, retail at my AD. I'm sorry for the quality of the photos. Okay, so I'd say sorry for, sorry for paying retail, but let's go. Okay, he's got an IWC Portofino, IW356501. This was my first luxury piece and was given to me by my parents when I finished my PhD. It is engraved <coughs> with the date of my PhD lecture. And is a watch with an incredible sentimental value and the only one I will never, never sell. So this is the IWC Portofino. Portofino is kind of their dress watch. Uh, <clears throat> i got to be completely honest with you. It's actually pretty nice. It's a steel sun stunner, creamy dial. I love the, the 12 and the 6 in the, in the Romans. It's actually quite a nice... It's actually a beautiful watch. It's because it's steel. It's it's not as formal as a um. It's not as formal as you know as as some watches can be, but it's a uh, it's a it's a great piece. It it is it is a great piece. It definitely is great. Okay, so that that's that's well done on the PhD. Uh, <clears throat> next piece is an AP fifteen five hundred black dial. A little bit big for my wrist, but I love it. I used to have the 15202, but not anymore. Mistake we make. I know you're going to kill me for that. Oh, my God. What a disaster. Um, <clears throat> the 15202 is the very rare edition. It's kind of the tribute to the original Jumbo AP. The 15202 is a bit quirky. It has no second hand, so it's purely minutes and hours. And it also does not have a screw-in crown. It's said to be kind of a, a tribute to the original Jumbo, <clears throat> which, which really saved AP. Um, so, but yet again, the 15500, this is the latest incarnation. It, it's not terrible. It's actually a fantastic watch. <coughs> the most desired of these watches, of course, is the, I think the 15300 is kind of the sweet spot. Because it's 39 mils, which is the same as the 15202. But you own a 15500, that's a fantastic watch. 
fantastic watch. I would prefer the 15202. Of course I would. But that's okay. It doesn't... It's not, it's, not, it's not the end of the world, okay? It's not the end of the world there. So that's that's quite okay. Next piece we've got is a Patek Philippe. Oh, quick, quick, quick. Wristwatch check. I'm wearing my Patek Philippe 6006. And he tells me he's got the 6007 Calatrava Limited Edition. My last acquisition. I love it. Just love it. Subtle and beautiful and limited edition. It's not a Nautilus, but I hope it will keep its value over time. This is the new Patek released for 2020. Steel Calatrava. It's very similar to the 6006, which is the white gold. The difference, however, is, of course, is that it actually uses... The 324 movement, whereas the 6006 uses the the um, the 240 movement, um, but they're both beautiful, beautiful. The special thing about the 6006 6, 6007 is it's in steel, which any steel paddock winner winner chicken dinner. So that's a that's a beautiful beautiful watch there. He's also got a paddock next piece is a paddock Philippe Calatrava 5296. Like the one you used to have, I think you traded it for your 6006 paddock. Yes, that's right. It's a watch I use for formal occasions. In my opinion, one of the most beautiful Calatravas. Hey, man, I completely get it. <coughs> you know, this is the weird thing. When I was... Um, I had a situation where I had the 5296 and I had a 5127. And I had to sell one to pay for the 6006. And I decided to sell the 5296. And guess what? Guess what? As quirk of, 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 of nature, I ended up buying a second 5127. So I should have kept the 5296 because then I would have had 5296, 5127, and a 6006. But you know what I mean? <coughs> this is just how life goes. You know, you, you can't... It's just how life goes. So... I, um, you can't be, dis it's just how it goes. So I, I think the 5296 is actually, um, I agree with you. It's probably one of the most beautiful, one and done paddock. It's just beautiful, just beautiful. Then you've got a paddock Nautilus 55711. I love it. You just can't over or underdress it. It suits you in every imaginable occasion. And then finally, we've got a Rolex Batman 116710 BLNR. The only Rolex I currently have, but it's the one I like the most. Well, that's it. To simple. Okay, so we've got some simple questions. but So let's just have a look at his collection there. I've got to tell you, well done. Amazing collection, I think. Uh, to be honest with you, I love the story. You've got the, you got the, um, the IWC as a present. Fantastic. It's actually a very nice watch. Steel, understated, beautiful. You've got some gorgeous paddocks. I must admit, you've got the um, you've got some very gorgeous. You've got the five two nine six, which I think is the most quintessential color trava. You've got the six zero zero seven, which is actually very cool. And you've got a fifty seven eleven. The dream that people. That's just ballistic. It's probably the hottest. Sports watch in the world, the 5711. Uh, and then you've got a, an AP15500. Yes, beautiful. And you've got a, um, a Batman. A Batman, 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 Batman. So your first question is, what do I think of your collection? Well, i got to tell you honestly, I love it. I think it is a beautiful collection. I love the story. My advice to you, <clears throat> don't sell. Don't sell. If you're buying things at retail... I understand, you know, you, you, you're earning good money, but don't sell, okay? The, the danger is you, you sell it when it's not so cool. Keep everything you've got. Do not sell. I think it was a mistake <clears throat> to get rid of the 15202. I do, but now that you've got the 15500, just keep it. Don't sell or swap. Just stay with that there. So what do I think of your collection? Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. 5711 is a dream watch. The 6007 and the 5296. Those three paddocks, without going into complications or grand complications, absolutely beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, 
<clears throat> which piece, question two, which piece should I buy next? Would you trade one of my watches for it or just add? Look, look, I got to be totally honest there. I'm really against trading in watches unless, you know, you really know what you're doing. The danger is if you're self, you're, you're, you're obviously, you know, you're, you're a surgeon, aren't you? What are you there? You, 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 um, you have good salary, good money there. You are, you're a surgeon. Look, you're not going to make money selling to... You haven't got time to, to, to work with these people. So you're going to go to a dealer. Dealers are going to always skin you. They, dealers are not your friends. Dealers are not your friends. If you were going to be lazy and just trade it in with a dealer, it's dumb. If I were you, seriously, just add. Do not trade in if you start trading in things they're going to skin you alive i don't know what the dealers in spain are like but to be completely honest with you every dealer they make money out of people's stupidity and lack of time you've really got to get that end custom what are you going to sell what are you going to trade there's nothing i would really get rid of there they are all beautiful absolutely beautiful so, okay, what would I add? What would I add to your collection there? Now, um, which piece would you buy next? Okay, I got to tell you there. I tell you honestly, um, what would I add there? So, so really, you've got a very strong Patek following. We've got an IWC, we've got an AP, and we've got a Rolex. Look, I think you've got a beautiful collection uh what would i add what would i add okay i tell you exactly what i would add there i think as far as rolex goes we could possibly add a hulk okay we could add a hulk because <clears throat> the hulk gives us in rolex you want to have um you'd like to have a in rolex you want to have a diver a GMT and a chronograph. So I, I would say myself, you know, I would just tick those boxes if if you're able to, to do this. I'm telling you, okay, you're, you're a surgeon. You don't earn small money. You earn big bucks. I would add a Hulk and I'd add a Daytona, okay, a Panda. I'd add a Panda and a Hulk, okay. That's what I'd add. Add that because that gives you a Rolex Diver, Rolex GMT and a Rolex chronograph, okay. That's what I'd add in Rolex. Would I add any more APs? Uh, the only thing in AP I would possibly add, okay, would I add another AP? I would add an AP diver. AP, Royal Oak Offshore Diver. I think that is a beautiful watch. Uh, I reckon that would be a cool AP to add. Would I add any IWCs to the collections. The only IWC I'd possibly add would be a Portuguese, Portuguese, just to get that beautiful chronograph. That's something I would possibly add. That's not going to be huge money considering how much you earn there. And then, okay, so 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 Rolex. Add a Hulk, add a Panda. IWC, I would add a Portuguese. Portuguesa. You know, the chronograph. Um, you know what I'm talking about. The beautiful... I mean, it, uh, you know, I, I think it's absolutely... Um, the Portuguesa chronograph. You know, the chronograph with the most beautiful... <clears throat> it's got the most beautiful Arabic numerals uh portuguese 3714 would be fine there, there, there's a you know i i think that is what i'd add that is what i'd add and it's purely for that beautiful iwc buttons and the the arabics the movement's not the reason you know i i've got to be honest with you there i um i just think it would be fit in beautifully with your portofino and it's 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 a it's a gorgeous 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 watch it's an icon um fabulous thing 
Um, they're about, what are they, 42, 43 mils diameter there. I reckon that's exactly what I'd be, be adding there. Um, the, um, you know, I, okay, they use the Valjoux 7750 in a lot of the, 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 um, the Portuguese's, but that's not the point. The point is, is that they're just absolutely stunning, just the design, and, um, that, that's what I'd get. The next thing I would add, so, so, um, we, the AP, AP Royal Oak Offshore Diver, I'd add that. Then we get into paddock. Okay, what would I add in paddock? Okay. Now let's face it, you're a surgeon. The reason you go to university, the reason you studied your ass off, the reason you put the hard yards in, the reason, the reason is to earn bucks. It's to earn the big bucks. That's, that's the meaning of life, big bucks. So in our paddock world there, what would I add? I got to tell you, man, we're going to add some F off Patek Philippe. What I would add, I tell you exactly what I would add. I seriously, if I were you, I would add a 5230, white gold 5230. That's the world time, the current model world time. 38 and a half mil. I think it's absolutely perfect. Add that. I would also... Uh, I would add, you could add a number of Nautiluses if you wanted to. 57.12, 57.26, that's the annual calendar Nautilus. Otherwise, if you want, I'd probably go, uh, the Nautilus is big money, big money. I'd probably say, no, you know what, let's go for a... 5396, get a 5396, that's an annual calendar paddock, very, very beautiful. That's what I'd add, I'd add a 5230, forget, forget the Nautilus, forget the, <coughs> forget adding a 5712 or a 5726, I'd add a 5396 annual calendar and I'd add a 5230, yes, beautiful, that would show that <coughs> you are a, a collector of Allah de France, Allah de France, force, a force to be reckoned with. That's what I'd be adding. Seriously, do that. It's a good way to go. Um, and very kindly, if you come to Spain, Madrid, contact me. I'd love to meet you. Put a smile on my face on these tough times. Deepest thanks. And I got to say thank you so much, Alex. What a great collection. Great thing there. I mean, I've tried to give you broad sped. You're a surgeon. Let's face it. Surgeon. Let's look at a big collection. If I had to add one piece, what would I add? If I had to add one piece, I'd add the 5230. That's the world time white gold paddock current model. I reckon that would be, if you had to add one piece, that's what I would do. But I would say, build out the Rolex, get a, get a diver and a chronograph. The IWC, get a Portugueser. The AP, I would get the Royal Oak Offshore Diver. And the paddock, let's get two complications there to give it some punch. Give it some punch. So that's that's exactly where I would go there. Okay, guys. There we go. That's the, uh, the video there for Alex. Tell me what you think. Like, subscribe, tell your friends. Don't be afraid to put some comments below. Remember... I can't survive on Google Ads alone. I need your help. I need your help. Please get a paid review done. Google Ads are terrible. I need your help. Google Ads. I can't survive on the Google Ads. I need the paid reviews to keep me full time on the tubes. And I will look down below to how to organize a paid review in the description. And I'll see you in the next one. Hi guys, Archie Luxury, and who do I recommend in America? In America, who do I recommend for quality pre-owned wristwatches? David SW, David SW, David SW. Go to davidsw.com. He is the best, the greatest pre-owned dealer in all of the United States of America. David SW, David SW, David SW.
Hi guys, Archie Luxury, new sponsor on the channel, App Stanchi 8. Help get the most of your engineering and DevOps with App Stanchi 8. App Stanchi 8 provides on demand DevOps infrastructure, test automation, and continuous integration as a service with a focus on mentoring and hiring assistance to help engineering teams scale. They are experts in Google Cloud, Amazon Web Services, and the latest open source utilities to help your company save time and money. Cost reduction in your hosting bills alone will pay for itself. In addition, the team is 100% onshore, New York City-based senior engineers. Abstantiate will help you get most productivity out of your current stack and or employee headcount. Email hello at abstantiate.com. Please email now hello at abstantiate.com for more information. Archie Luxury proudly supporting fantastic businesses. And don't forget, guys, make sure you subscribe to the Archie Luxury corporate live streaming channel. To be updated on all the live shows I do. Live shows! Hey guys, Archie Luxury. Who do I recommend for watches in Brisbane and Sydney? Vintage Watch Co. That's correct. Vintage Watch Co. in Brisbane Arcade in Brisbane and the Strand Arcade in Sydney. Vintage Watch Co. Brisbane and Sydney. Ronnie. I've known him since the late 90s. Ronnie is a top bloke. Luke is a great guy. Vintage Watch Co. That is who I recommend in Australia. Check out Vintage Watch Co. and the guys' amazing range of watches. They also do service and repairs. Vintage Watch Co. That is where the pontiff goes. You know, some of my paddocks came from Vintage Watch Co. That's right, guys. Vintage Watch Co.